everyone, welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. I am Farmer Min. We're going to do this special little video on the Massey Ferguson 383. This is part of the pack that came from Peter J and NI Modding today, the uh, Massey Ferguson 300 series pack. But I wanted to kind of do a thing on the 383. This is an interesting tractor. This was produced in a factory in Coventry, England from the 87 to 97. In, in 1997, um, this tractor had a price of 27300 And I'm assuming because it was in England, that would be um, pounds, pounds back then. Not, not euros, that would be pounds. But that that is relatively interesting. You can't even buy a five-year-old pickup for 27300 Well, in the States you can't. Um, but yeah, this Massey Ferguson 383. A couple things. It had a Perkins 4.1 liter four-cylinder diesel engine in it. Um, horsepower, I believe, what was it, 81? 81 horsepower with the uh, 73 horsepower and the PTO. Um, it's a 4x2 two two-wheel drive chassis, hydrostatic power, uh, differential wet disc, and um, the two post drops with, can with optional canopy. This is a pretty neat tractor. Um, what's interesting about this tractor, what I failed to mention in the, uh, in the uh, guide to, or the, the mod review, um, was the fact of the, I, I pointed out the spin out wheels, but these PAVT rims, which um, stand for Power Activated Variable Track. So PAVT rims. What it does is these rims you can loosen up and you can slide out and then retighten again. So from what I understand, from what I've read, is you can adjust it for a row crop. So here we are in a uh, row crop field. When you get the standard without adjusting anything, you know, you, you don't line up. You know, I don't know what dimension um, these rows are simulated in the game. Uh, you know, in my neck of the woods, we plant row crops in 22 inch rows. So all of our tractors are set up for 22 inch row spacing. So meaning when you have a tractor, with row crop tires, which pretty much, you know, everything besides a four-wheel drive tractor is going to be. Um, that means that when you do row crops, you have one in this row and the other tire in this row. So this PAVT was a system, and, and they were found on other tractors, all those Chalmers as well. Um, I think they were even found on some other tractors that I could think of or I mean that I that I found but at the top of my head I just can't uh, I can't think of it now but the idea is that you have these rails welded to the rim in a spiral direction so in order to move the tires what you're going to do is you would loosen the clamps holding the center portion of the the rim to the outer rim and then move them and then put the the pin back in the hole where you want them so basically, it was a quick way for 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 um, farmers, growers, operators to uh, move the rear tires in and out in a fixed axle position. Um, you know, over time, they kind of got rusted and worn out, and they were very difficult to move. But nice, new, shiny like this is not a big deal. So what you got to do, and this is going to go for the uh, PlayStation because that's what I play on. But all it is is L1 and the right mushroom pad and you can see that you can move the axles in and out so if you you know if you like to play realistic you can see that you can adjust them here so you would actually be in the in the row whereas if you have it all the way in you can't get good spacing on the row you're going to drive over your crop so that is kind of the uh, the idea behind it um, you know they're also known as spin out but um, I suppose you have a wider wheelbase um, therefore maybe it would uh, help that but everything that I've kind of uh, that I know about them that I research means that they're adjustable to um, two rows so yeah 
So that's kind of the Massey Ferguson 383. I just wanted to highlight that and show the difference. The tractor is an awesome tractor. Um, this one is a 383 WRC, 383 wide row crop. That's this option here. Um, you do have front loader, no front guard, and the loader option with the footstep, the canopy, and the high line cab. So there you can see some of the difference here. Um, standard, you get the roll bar. I, what does ROPS stand for? Roll over protection. I, I, I guess I don't know. Roll over protection something. We just always call them a roll bar. Here's the roll bar with the canopy, the front guard, and then of course um, this is the high line cab. The uh, cab that sits up higher, flat off the tractor, um, higher than the, than the low profile one. But yeah, I just wanted to highlight this uh, specific tractor. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Now in in this pack, you can go in here and you can get a, um, let's see, the 398. See, the 398 has the PVT rim option too. Um, we'll just get one of those. Um, should be right over the fence. I bet I can't hop the fence. Oh, I can't hop the fence. Okay, so this one also has a, the PAVT option as well, but when you're inside it, you can't move the axle in this tractor. So it won't let me move it no matter what I do. And that's the problem I think I had when I first went in here. I thought, oh, PVT, cool. PAVT, I was trying to, and I couldn't get it to, to work, and I never tried the... Uh, the 383 um, WRC option but this one it will move it does do it so yeah pretty cool there you have it I just wanted to explain that maybe um, some of you didn't uh, didn't catch that I'm sure that you are all smart intelligent fine outstanding virtual farmers that you probably knew that but I thought I would just pass it along to you there you go there it is simple as that um, have yourself a great day and we'll catch you next time. So long.